Kayak like a guitar player from Berlin and today I would like to show you five Kurt Rosenwinkel exercises that I found when I scanned the internet and then I just like invented my own chords that you can record on your looper and then you can play those exercises on top of those chords. All those exercises really handle the big problems we guitar players have like changing positions, right? That's always a kind of a freak show. <laughs> and also like playing force on the fretboard and all those exercises really help you to produce those sounds that sound so cool and let's get right into it. <laughs> first one is shifting position on the neck and I know that can feel a little bit like jumping off a 10 meter diving board. So what do you do? You jump off that diving board the whole summer, right? And this exercise is a little bit like this. It's nothing else than shifting position all the time. <laughs> you have three octaves, right? And then downwards, it's more like a fourth. So this is not so hard in the beginning, right? But then we already have a really wide jump from the D to the G. You know, like throwing the hand to the next note and then landing on this note. And I think you can practice it with this. This exercise is so cool because it works on two things at the same time. On the one hand, you have to work on your right hand picking across all strings right and the left hand is working on playing fourth intervals like you know B flat E flat A flat and then again on the next three strings B flat the same thing an octave higher and he's playing the first note the B flat with the middle finger sorry <laughs> then the next note with the ring finger and the pinky so like and then with the first finger and then just shifting this thing a whole step up but descending and then the same thing so i have this shape here for you you can really remember it as a shape that you're shifting in whole tone steps across the fretboard Also, a PDF with all five exercises with tabs. You can get it in my shop, all the things guitar. Just look in the description box below and click on the link, and you can download this PDF if you like to. Yeah, this is going to be my next favorite exercise. It sounds so cool. Let me tell you a word about the chords. You can basically think about them as major seven chords that are shifted through a cycle of minor thirds, right? Very much like chord range changes. So it would be F major, A flat major, a minor third higher, B major, and D major, and then F major again. Then I'm thinking of pairs of two major seven chords so a pair of two major seven chords a whole note apart like f major to g and then i'm going back to the a flat major and adding in another pair a flat to b flat and you can really check out some of kurt rosenwinkel's tune that have two major seven nine chords a whole note apart like homage amidge or mr hope So this is a 
G7 Augmented lick in the whole tone scale and it works really nice over a G7 going to C minor, right? Going to start in the fourth bar on the third beat on the C minor, going to start the G7 even a little earlier than it actually appears. That always sounds very good. One E and the two E and the. One last really cool thing is you can think about the G7 also as an F7, E flat 7, D flat 7, B7, A7 because you know as long as you're constructing the chord with notes of the whole tone scale that is symmetrical you can just shift it along but then also you could be thinking right if I think about that chord for example as an E flat 7 where would it resolve to right so we could play the whole thing over an E flat 7 resolving to A flat minor. These are very cool licks and lines that sound great and you can really start practicing by shifting those patterns along the fretboard, not worrying so much about the name of the notes and the relationship to the root, but just to train your fingers and at the same time get some really cool sounds in your system. But this last exercise is probably the most difficult exercise because it stops applying finger rings and it starts thinking about the fretboard. So what we're basically going to do is to play a minor pentatonic over the entire fretboard, thinking about the notes and starting on the lowest note in E minor, that's the E, and stopping on the highest, highest note, that in, in this case on my guitar that would be the D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, and then you start over again and you say the name of the intervals in relationship to the E, like one, minor third, four, five, flat seven. And try to find different ways and not always going the same route. And I have a lot of fun experimenting this one is the hardest exercise but it's very beneficial if you like this video you might also like this video about the major seven sharp five chord another very cool sound check it out if you have any questions and comments write them down below and i see you next week <laughs> bye <laughs>